Live from Dodd Stadium in Norwich, Connecticut, it's the 2016 Northeast Conference Baseball Championship Tournament. Game number one is the regular season champion, Bryant University Bulldogs, and the fourth-seeded Central Connecticut State University Blue Devils. Hinkley's 2-1 is high, probably deep enough. Well, given that speed, we saw definitely deep enough. Playable, Lippincott will make the catch. Off goes Angelini, and there's no catching him. So Rin, the RBI machine, does it again and puts the Bulldogs in front, 1-0 in the first. Liz, and they've done the most they can with it, 26-4. and four, As This one raked out the opposite way. This one's going to be trouble. It's down in the left center field gap. Cut off nicely by Gilmet. They'll send the runner anyway. Cut from shortstop. There will be no throw to the plate, and it's an RBI double off the bat of Nicky Gasper. 2-0 lead for Bryant. That one more run might be enough to win this game now. As this one hit high and deep to left field, McCarthy Got all of that one, and that one is long gone to left field. Shades of 2014 right there, almost the same spot. Double the result. Bryant's now got a 4-0 lead thanks to the blast to left from their senior catcher. 0-2 pitch, rip to the gap in left center field. This one will get down. It will score another run. Fabio will come strolling in and into second with the RBI double is Angelini. Back-to-back -back two baggers for the Bryant Bulldogs in the eighth, and they lead at 7-0. Powers ready with his 1-1. He kicks and delivers. This one hit on the ground. That'll get through into left field for a base hit. Now they will send the runner with two out, and they won't throw home. And Bryant will really let Central Connecticut have that run. As Zerosny pulls up and does not throw home, they would have had a good chance at LeBras, but he's able to come in and score. So an RBI single. 1-0 hit the other way, hangs up in right field, but caught out there by Daly, who makes a pair of putouts to put game number one in the books. So Central scores once in the ninth, but it's not enough as Bryant coast to an 8-1 victory in game number one. Coach, it seems like the, the plan that we had talked about yesterday on the phone, you, you get a good outing out of your, your starting pitcher and then minimal use of your bullpen. You were able to execute. Yeah, um, we were able to score early. And then um, and then uh, James, you know, kept it at bay early, had a little rocky inning. He made a big pitch to get out of it. And then we were able to expand the lead. And he got into a good rhythm with being able to throw both his fastball and his breaking ball for a strike. And then, you know, stayed out there for, for seven innings, which was really important for us. We talked about the, the balance of your lineup yesterday. One through nine, there, there really isn't any weak link, and, and we get to see it again today. Basically, every part of your order ends up contributing to this win today. Uh, in terms of just balance, you, you've been here a while. Is this this the most complete team that you've had, one through nine? Offensively, yes. I mean, we've, we've had a lot of good players, but um, like it really doesn't matter where we put them in the lineup. They just try to put good at-bats together, one after the other. And today, I don't, I don't, I don't know if we struck out maybe once today. Um, we got a lot of hits. We hit, we killed some balls that would be home runs if the wind wasn't blowing in 20 miles an hour. But we were able to, to, um, you know, put some good at bats in a row together. And then I, I do think we got offensive hits and production from everyone in our lineup. Well, you don't have much time to go enjoy it, but go enjoy it. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. That's head coach Steve Owens, and we now turn it over to our Bayer player of the game in James Karachak. Coach, you just mentioned it uh, early on, uh, a little bit rocky, but then things turned a little bit. What what happened in those first two innings where maybe things weren't going right? Uh, I mean, I couldn't find it when mechanics weren't there. But luckily, you know, I got out of it. What uh, what turned in terms of that that, that third inning where you, you get those back-to-back -back strikeouts? I mean, I started feeling my mechanics. I started uh, living down in the zone instead of up. And my curveball started getting sharper. In terms of that curveball, you're, you're able to transition pretty well in between fastball to curve. You did it a couple times. Is that something you've, you've always been able to do, or is it something that, that maybe you've worked in in the last few years? I mean, uh, I haven't had much curveball control these last years, but uh, today I had uh, pretty good curveball control. In terms of the fastball up, it seemed like it was, was it riding up today, maybe uh, a little more than it typically does for you? Yeah, I was missing up a good amount today. How much has Coach talked about you know, obviously it being important for you guys to get long innings out, out of your starting pitching and kind of saving the bullpen. I mean, I try to stay in the game as long as I can. I mean, my hitters gave me production early, so, I mean, gave me confidence to stay out there longer, you know. Uh, Feelers did a great job, Jan. Well, go enjoy it, and uh, congratulations. One one away and uh, a couple more coming, maybe. I hope so. Thank you. That's James Karachak, of course, our Bayer player of the game.